Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I am spending some time um, wrapping up and I've got a few bits and pieces out. And so I did bag pieces up into the relative people or family so I can get them all wrapped up. And I've made a start, as I said, I've still got some of these boxes I got from last year um, from Poundland. I've got the light on the fire because I've got um, my heating on and I'm at the moment watching Mary Poppins Returns while I am wrapping up. I've done my 30 minute tidy up, my 10 item pick up and I've been doing some laundry this morning so I've done those six bit so I'm just you know sort of planning to get some wrapping up done I'm not quite sure exactly how much I'll be filming but I thought I'll make a start and then I can show you how I've wrapped up this set of gifts okay then so I've put the tags and um, ribbons and bows on the first lot um, this one I said I've just put this gold bow on and I've just put a little bit of tape down just to keep um, the ribbon on the parcel. If you don't want to waste your ribbon, especially on a big gift like this, you can just wrap it round one side like I've done here. I've put a bow, a tag and then I've enclosed or put on this like reef. It's a cardboard reef with an extra bit of ribbon. Then here we've got all the Blu-rays. I've wrapped them all up very similar. And um, in the, I say this, a Merry Christmas wrapping paper with the tree tag. I've used um, a variety of different silver ribbons on these. And then I've included this little um, sort of wooden um, reindeer mini that I got a few years ago now. A whole batch of these from Tesco's on clearance so that's those um this box is one that i had last year in there i've got two lots of the um really thick slipper socks in there and a jumper for hubby again using a tag and ribbon just to seal the box up um the box that i brought this year is this one do not open until december the 25th and i've added this red seasons greetings tag again i purchased that one um on clearance um last year and a bow that's got clothing in and then that avengers bag has also got clothing in it's just made it a lot easier doing it this way it's also enclosed in that marvel bag his slippers because i said there's like a xbox gaming sort of um Theme, and that's in both of those plus the other bag of gifts that I wrapped up and shared with you previously so what I'm doing at the moment is I've got two of these boxes here and um, these I purchased from um, Poundland um, last year a magical Christmas time I just love the stag and the blue so in each of these um, I've got t-shirt and socks in each of those and I'm about to just finish wrapping those up and then I'll share that with you do excuse all the bits on the mat I'm going to hoover up once I've finished all my wrapping okay so we've got here his and her boxes as I said I bought these from Poundland last year I bought all these silver ribbons for about 10 20p each from Poundland after the, the Christmas season um, these are a little um, embellishment tags that I also got from Poundland if you remember um, they were actually um, selling all this range last year you know the down to the paper plates and cups and everything um, what I've done is the silver one round here, I've just fixed it on the bottom with a tiny little bit of um, tape just to keep it in place. Don't like sticking things actually on the front of these boxes due to the fact that they can either be used again 
or as I've done take the lid off even if it gets a bit bulky put the lid underneath the box and you can use it to store baubles decorations you can use the lid on if necessary or any um, tags and ribbons bows that sort of thing for the following year like I do in my big flat box that goes under the bed with all my Christmas wrappings in and then I finished it off I've got an M here um, for his first name this is for our son and a Z for our daughter-in-law and I've fixed it down the bottom bit because so you can still see most of the um, stag picture and then a Z here now the M's was the last one um, I got these from um, George Home 50p last year and that was five in there I don't know whether they got these sort of things again and the Z I got very recently from Peacocks and this was actually reduced down to 25 pence I'm not sure how much the price was. I think it was because maybe it was um, left over from last year. There is a gold one there. But Z doesn't tend to be, I don't think, a very common name. So that probably that's why. Um, they had some other initials, you know, um, tags. Oh, there it is. It's there, look. I didn't see that. 50 pence. So it was half price. And I think because the um, some of the letters... Um, don't get sold that much so they were selling them off but I just think it I love wrapping things and I know it's sad that's why I put a movie on and um, carry on as I said I've watched um, Mary Poppins Returns um, so I'm going to choose my next movie while I carry on wrapping up it's not such a chore as I said um, and um, I've got a few little goodie snacks as I'm wrapping up as well to keep me going and my nice cup of coffee so yeah so I'm going to carry on this might be an all day thing I don't know I don't want to rush it I'm watching tv at the same time multitasking um, and at least I'm sitting relaxing at the moment I say I did suffer with a bad head or muggy head yesterday um, so again can't help it but as long as things get um, done I'm not getting stressed over it and I'm just taking my time at getting these pieces done so there we are his and her boxes and they don't have to cost a lot I'm about to share another one in a moment and um, you know for socks before I start wrapping up I'm going to use these boxes um, for socks these actually were purchased this year. Um, these are from Poundland. You get two um, boxes um, for a pound, so really, really good. reasonable. Sorry about that. My phone went. It was the dentist for hubby. Um, I'm going to use a candy cane on each of these. Again, this is like a, you know, um, Mr. and Mrs. type box to go along with these. And then... Um, this was last year. I don't know if I paid a pound or whether I got more reasonable. I got these tags and it just so happened. Look at this. I thought, how um, nice does that go? Ho, ho, ho. Um, it has got some other tags in there, but they were a pound. So I thought I'm going to use those um, to match it all up. This is why it's good to have all your packaging and uh, wrappings and everything in one place. Um, after the season you know you can pick these things up really reasonable and then it is it is so reasonable and you can do things like this you know putting pieces and embellishments on the boxes even if they're not you're not paid a lot out um for the gift themselves it's still nice to receive a nice wrapped gift you could even get possibly um especially your older children doing this i'm sure you know find their creative bit um as i said i haven't done much crafting as i was going to do um for the christmas season but i'm enjoying doing this so i'm going to get these done and then i'll show you after i have finished again i'm sort of at the same time sharing the wrapping but also different priced gifts and how to put them together so in this box i'm going to put a pair of socks 
these actually came from Poundland. This is for a guy, along with the Harry Potter pen, because I know they're into Harry Potter, and I'll squish that in a minute due to the fact I don't want to rustle. And then for the lady, again, we've got socks there and the pen. So I'm going to put all these components together and then again, I'll show you when I've finished. As I said, gifts do not have to be um, expensive. Um, the socks in here were a pound. Um, this was, I believe, 75 pence on clearance from Tesco's and then the box say 50 pence. As I said, most everything else I already had. So it's not a very costly um, gift. So this gift's probably about £2.20, something like that. £2.50 at the most. And that actually would include everything else as well. If you sort of cost in um, the bits and pieces. So I'm going to wrap that up and then I'll show you it once it's finished. Okay, so here's the mini um, gifts. Um, what I did was, because it was the only piece of white ribbon I've got, and I cut that in um, half. So there's no bow at this time. But what I've done, I crossed it over, um, so it's like so. And then I've just fixed a little bit of tape on the bottom just to hold it. Um, that way it's stretched to two gifts. And like I said, we've got the tags, ho, 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 which really do um, sort of match everything in this red and white. Finished it off with the candy cane. And what I've been doing is a lot of these um, tags are usually tied, you know, a knot. If I can't undo the knots, I've just snipped it so it splits it so I can tie it on to the ribbon or whatever like that. And I'm quite pleased with that, actually. That is one of my favourite um, wrappings. I think it's just simple, but it's effective. So there we are. Say, so gifts do not have to be um, expensive. And it's just wrapping them so they look lovely. And, you know, a little bit of a surprise. So for the next two parcels, I've used this paper. This actually came from Primark. It was, well, it says 150 and the only reason I knew it was from Primark, I thought it was because it's got Primark actually on the wrapper that was um, round the paper. Um, I'm using these tree decorations and I believe these came from Poundland, I'd like to say, um, with the yellow um, ribbon. Normally I would have swapped out the yellow ribbon but it goes really well with the yellow that's in the paper. I've used scraps of the white ribbon and I like to twirl it and I've done it um, for years now um, with a pair of scissors to make it more, um, you know, tighter ribbon. So basically I repurpose ribbon and the tags I believe I got from Wilco's. So this is the parcel. Let me just move one aside so you can see closer lot. I think these tags actually came from Wilco's, I'd like to say, because I think they did the whole elf range but i don't think i couldn't see that i've got any of the paper left and i say i've twined white round i've got red that's actually crisscross round and the bits of yellow and i thought i'm gonna leave it all on because it all the colors are in the paper so it just comes out really nice so that is those two and uh, I think these are really nice to so say Christmas decoration to put on the tree. So that is the next one. So I'm going to move on because um, I've still got quite a lot of wrapping. And it is taking a little while just for the fact that I'm taking my time and I'm making them, you know, sort of matching and putting pieces on and everything. I mean, I could end up putting a candy cane on there as well i've decided to leave it like that so that's the next two gifts now completed okay using this paper i was going to use this black thin ribbon but i felt it was a little bit thin um the other black ribbon i had because that was the thin ribbon i was going to use but i didn't like it in the end I've got this black, but it's quite thin. So what I've done is I've doubled it over and this is what I've come up with. 
it is Santa gifts. So here we are. And what I've done is I've used um, this snow blanket like I've used um, a little bit that was left over from the table where I did that village. So I've stuck that on there, doubled over the black ribbon like I said, and I've used a belt buckle that I had. I've got a selection of them um, from my craft um, cubby, all different ones. These are the ones I was going to use because these are the smaller ones um, and they do actually sort of um, fit the thin um, ribbon but I wanted a thicker belt and these ones um, came from, I had some from Hobbycraft and I had some um, from The Works so I've had those since the last year um, and I'm really pleased and then on the back um, if you're wondering I've just got um, you know I've put the black bow and I've got one of those ho 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 um, labels you know tags so they know whose is who um, something that I have actually seen if you can't get these belt buckles if you have cans of um, soda or something I know for a fact that as a um, sort of hack you can use the pull um cord thing you know the metal um pulley cord thing and you can use that as a belt buckle but do be aware that they're not sharp or anything um but this is something that i was planning on doing um since last christmas and uh, i just think um it's effective not brilliant on the back as i said but there you are not particularly looking at the back you're looking at the front so quite happy and i could you could need to know off i'm probably be careful and use proper glue but i've just used tape so i say something else i'm really um pleased with and i think they've turned out really well so that is the santa gifts Right, now I'm going to share some um, male stocking filler ideas. They're not all here and some of them, um, I haven't included them because they're just repeats of yesterday's video like tissues, um, the masks and things like that and hand sanitizer. You know, there's quite a few things that do um, obviously repeat so I'm not going to include those um, this um, video and also there's certain things that I'm not including because they are surprises but just to give you um, a little taste of the sort of things that I do include in um, male stockings I'll start with a few um, not so much this time but in the past I've also bought the multi tools things like the screwdriver I've actually got a pink pen one and it's got magnetic um bits you know for the Phillips heads and things like that and they're interchangeable um this sort of thing you can get from Poundland and it's the multi tool key and it's like a screwdriver file nail remover uh, bottle opener, cutter and tweezers, that sort of thing. And this sort of thing can go on a keychain. Um, as I said, it's always handy to have these sort of things because you never know when you need that sort of thing. There is quite a lot of sweets and chocolates because, funny enough, uh, I'll have to explain this one. With mouse stockings, um, the items tend to be dare I say larger with female stockings they can be nail polishes emery boards yeah you could do a manicure set or something like that for a guy um, but the items tend to be a lot larger so very often I put things separately in little gift bags and everything and I may I may share that I don't know because I say some of them are surprises and I don't want to sort of um, share everything I'm giving my family for Christmas um, but as I said with females uh, lipstick lip balms um, I, you can lip balms you can give to the gents as well but as I said nail polishes makeup you know they're, they're small items and you can get more in a stocking as I feel 
not so much for guy i could be proved wrong i mean you've got this sort of thing and yes you could probably take it out of the packaging but i didn't want to um but as i said the items tend to be a lot larger um let's start with a couple of toiletries i've done a gift basket and showed you how i incorporate these and i did say i was putting it to bits because i wanted to put them in a stocking it's things like i've got links this is the um um africa one things like that um right guard body spray and i tend to buy an awful lot of these when i see them in poundland it's the bath puff and it's got the rough side and the soft side and i bought these a lot again this could make and i did share i think in my um gift ideas makes a nice um sort of male um toiletry basket um, this one I'm not actually including in the stocking but you could do, um, this is Hubby's favourite, this is the Clarex and it's the drumstick one. This is actually going to be um, shared in, hopefully if I get a chance to share this in um, a gift basket that I'm doing and you'll see a theme um, because very often Hubby has these in his stocking but these are not going to be included in his stocking this year because I'm making a basket up with those. Um, tend to buy a lot of these packet things, you know, or sharing ones. This is the Little Robins. This is um, um, Dime. Um, Hubby likes these and also he likes the Skittles. So very often, I think in the mails, I tend to do um, include a lot more chocolates and things. Um, like the chocolate orange and um, you can get the miniatures like these and um, the miniature tube ones like the Rolos and also the Toberone. So another one is, yes, can't go off a subject of socks. So um, these are the really thick ones. These came from Pep & Co from Poundland and these were actually four pounds. They're so thick and comfortable and warm and it's got the fleecy sort of lining. Brilliant. You know me, I kept all the guys out with these and as I say, they are really, really thick. So there's those. Um, like the females, we've got the um, like the fuzzy socks as I call them and um, a lot of places now um, are doing them for the guys and these were from Pepico, these were £2, yeah, £2 like the female ones but I've got these in the navy, I just think, possibly sometimes I like the darker ones as well because especially you can't help, it doesn't matter how much you wipe your floors down, how much you hoover, it's surprising how, you know, filthy socks can go, can get. So that's the guy's socks. And then these were two pounds from Asta. It's the red car with the tree. I do tend to buy, dare I say, socks for everybody, but some socks I like to get, um, referring to that particular person, like, um, our youngest son, I used to always buy Simpson socks, um, Marvel socks. Um, my eldest son tends to have the ones that have got funny sayings on. Um, hubby is more like these, but um, yeah, I've got a couple of pairs of those. Like the females with the soap, we've got the Miracle Anti Swearing Soap. And say just you know something that's useful but you can have a bit of a laugh with it um i've mentioned this before i like notepads diaries and yes get stuff done i'm not gonna swear um i've said this before especially at eldest son has one of these for his desk has his um work from home most of this year um he still has one of these on his desk um, and when he goes back to work, he tends to, I've, I've known him to say that he's been, um, you know, happy with the pens and the um, pads I've gave him, you know, so he can jot down um, notes, and especially at the bottom where it says doodle area. I'm bad at that, actually. The map pens I've um, actually, um, you know, sort of used up because I'm 
there doodling away while I've been on the phone. With guys more than the females to compensate for the other components that I don't include, I do tend to include DVDs or Blu-rays. Um, Hubby does know about these and I did say to him, I think he's seen all of these, um, but we hadn't actually got them on DVD. This one here, uh, these both came from Amazon. In fact, they were both basically the same price. I think they were something like £3.80 each, I'd like to say. But this one has actually got 11 Christmas specials on. But this one has only got two on but it's two that's not included in this set as i said normally mrs brown boys um comes on with their show their new shows i think it's usually christmas day and new year's day or something like that or christmas eve and christmas and uh, new year's eve i have got to go out and get the tv guide as i said that's one thing i do do to get organized i highlight all the pieces in it but i hope to approach that at another time as I said, time is getting away with us and uh, yes, can't believe it's Christmas next week. So just a few pieces. As I said, some of the things are a lot bigger because I've brought all the guys these sort of socks and these and um, they don't all fit in their stockings. So they're in um, little gift bags separately. So I think I'm going to leave it here um, because I've had a very busy day. Um, I haven't been actually sharing all my um, sort of cleaning and everything. I do want to give, although I've been doing a room a day, laundry, putting stuff away, you know, on top of getting all the wrapping done and the last minute cards written and things like that, um, I want to do a full clean um, coming up. I'm going to try and do it in all one day if I can. And then it's only a matter of wiping things over has and when need be so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye